So match day two has come to a close. Fear not folks, match day three is just around the corner. That's right folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time we've headed to Spain to predict match day three in La Liga. Now we'll get to that in just one second. Now if you're new to the channel, where the heck have you been? Please hit the old subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things La Liga related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. So let's waste no more further ado. Take a little look back at last weekend's predictions and the actual score lines. And in fact, I did pretty terrible if, I, if I'm honest with you, with my predictions. But let's take a look at them anyway. Getafe up against Ibar. I predicted a nil-nil draw here for Getafe. But no, they had other, other things up their sleeve. They ended up two nil winners in the end to get their season well on track with their first victory of the season. Ibar in 19th spot now. Leganes up against Real Sociedad. I predicted a 2-1 away win for Sociedad. But in the end, it was a 2-2 draw. Share the, spoil, the, the points. Um, Real Sociedad now up to 7th in the table. Leganes up to 12th. As for Alaves up against Betis. Again, another terrible prediction by me. 2-1 home win, I thought, for Alaves. But in the end, it was a 0-0 draw. Real Betis getting their first point on the board in 18th spot. Uh, my first correct result of the weekend. Atletico Madrid up against Real Vallecano. I predicted a 3-0 home win for Atletico Madrid. They just won the 1-0 to get their season on reasonable track. They've now got four points out of possible six into ninth spot in the old division. Vallecano all the way down, 20th spot. Cannot get any worse for them. Moving on to Valladolid up against Barcelona. I predicted a monstrous away win. Again, just a casual 1-0 away, away win for Barcelona to keep themselves as one of only two sides with a 100% record. Who's the other team? We'll talk about that shortly. Moving on to Espanyol up against Valencia. Again, terrible prediction by me. I expected an away win because they started off the season so fantastically well um, for Valencia. But in the end, it was a 2-0 win for Espanyol to give themselves a good old start to the season. Four points on the board for them. Moving on to Sevilla up against Villarreal. Yet again, an absolutely honking prediction by me. I predicted a home win quite comfortably. But in the end, it was a 0-0 draw. I just cannot get La Liga at the moment. Moving on to Girona up against Real Madrid. Bing, 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 bing. My first correct scoreline, correct result. 4-1 win I predicted for Real Madrid. And in the end, guess what, folks? It was a 4-1 win to keep themselves. Also, the second team, 100% record. Moving on to Levante up against Celta Vigo. I had a predicted 2-2 draw for these two sides who were scrapping it out in the middle of the table. Um, in the end, it was a 2-1 away win for Celta Vigo to uh, kickstart their season up into eighth spot for them. And wrapping up the weekend, ching, 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 it's the second correct scoreline. Atletico Bilbao up against Huesca. I predict a 2-2 draw. And guess what, folks? It was a 2-2 draw. Moving on to this weekend's matches. Let's take a look at what I've predicted. Getafe take on Valladolid. And I expect this one to go right down the middle. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Getafe currently find themselves in 11th spot. Valladolid are in 14th. So that would be a share of the points for them. Moving on to Villarreal up against Girona. Villarreal currently in 13th spot with just the one point. Girona currently in 16th spot so very close but I've gone for a home win for Villarreal moving on to Ibar up against Real Sociedad Ibar doing okay really no they're not they're 19th spot up against Real Sociedad who are doing reasonable in 7th spot I've gone for a 2-2 draw here share of the points uh, goals galore as well moving on to Celta Vigo up against Atletico Madrid Mid-table crunch class. This one, Celta Vigo currently in 8th. Atletico Madrid currently in 9th. Um, but I've gone with the away side here. 3-1 winners on the road. Uh, Rio Vallecano up against Atletico Bilbao. Uh, they have to get a point one of these days. And I expect it to be this weekend. That's right. 0-0 draw for me. Uh, which would be a bit frustrating for Bilbao. Considering they have 5th of the table. But Vallecano... Bottom of the pop. So they need a point And they need it fast. Real Madrid up against Leganes. Leganes... Um, where are they in the old table? They are doing okay in 12th spot with the one point so far, but I expect them to get absolutely smashed when they take on Madrid at uh, the Bernabeu. 3-0 um, in the end. Levante up against Valencia. A bit of a mid-table scrap at the minute. Levante with three points on the board. Valencia, just the one. Uh, but I've gone with an away victory here. 2-1 for Valencia to get their season right back on track. Moving on to Alaves up against Espanyol. Espanyol doing the business in fourth spot. Alaves doing not the business in 17th spot. But I think it's going to be all square here, 1-1. One, one. 
Uh, moving on to Barcelona up against Huesca. Uh, Huesca probably one of the surprise packages thus far in sixth place in the old table. Up against second place Barcelona, but I expect them to get absolutely smashed by uh, Barcelona. 4-0 in the end. Moving on to the final game of the weekend. Real Betis up against Sevilla. Betis, 18th spot, isn't it? Up against Sevilla, who are... Where are they? They're doing much, much better. Third place for them. Away victory. 2-0 to wrap up the weekend. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button. I keep you bang up to date with all things La Liga related, world football related. And of course, Blackburn Rovers related, baby. We've got it all here under one roof. Also, make sure you check out the old description. Link to my other social media platforms are in there. So make sure you check them out. You can check me out on Twitter and Facebook and all that kind of good stuff. Also, let me hear your thoughts and opinions about this weekend's matches. Do you think Barcelona will continue to smash the goals in for fun and climb up to top spot? What do you think about Madrid? Are they going to lose today or this weekend to choke a little bit? What about Celta Vigo? Can they upset the odds up against Atletico Madrid? Let me hear your thoughts and opinions about the old comments section below. And we'll have a good old chat about it. But anyway, that wraps up this video. Until week number four, I'll see you soon. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>